name is Valerie Revere. I am a teacher here at Washington. I also have my ESL and I'm currently um, pursuing my national board certification. Just the, inter the interaction with the students, which is what I'm you know, missing the most. Um, their stories and the way they see things and their perspective and just their awe and their wonder and um, the enjoyment that they get out of the simple things. And so, you know, when you enjoy what you're doing, it works really doesn't work. So it's, you know, it's fun to just come and play with the kids and have, you know, those relationships. And, and here you get to see them sometimes two, three years, depending on how old they are when they enter the program. And so just seeing the growth within that short period of time, too, is um, just wonderful to see. We are studying trees. <laughs> trees is our current study. So we're adapting, um, we follow creative curriculum. So there's different studies and each study is anywhere between four to six weeks long. With the virtual setting, we're not quite doing that that long because not everything applies online. But so we'll be doing the trees for four weeks along with our um, literacy and math goals that we have for the students. And so we're just starting. So now they've been going on nature walks. And so tomorrow we're gonna be addressing some things that they may have found. And then I'll show some of the things that I found on my nature walk as well. So they, they each have their iPad. Um, so we are able to, they also have a tool that they can draw. So we were using like interactive, we were like, okay, can you circle number one? Or can you find the circle and circle the circle? Or can you um, draw a line matching? So we're able to get a little bit of engagement that way. Um, but they're doing really well. Like they've learned, we have our um, visual of, you know, mute and unmute because I mute my students when, when they have a chance when they first come on, they're all able to talk and say hello and things like that. But when we get started, I mute them just so that they can hear me and I can hear them when it's their turn. They're great now that they've all learned that, um, turn their microphone on and off. So that helps. And it's really, um, it's amazing. You know, they, they, they learn well. And so they learned that they've learned that drawing tool. And with that, we've, we've got some engagement. Um, they love seeing their friends on the screen and say hello and talking to each other. And so we make sure that we have those outlet, outlets as well, um, usually at the beginning of our day and at the end of our day where they can share with their friends. Longer, you know, yeah, I wake up and, you know, we're technically we don't start until 7.45, but by seven o'clock I'm posting my link on the class dojo so the families can find it. And I'm checking my emails to make sure I'm, I'm set for the day. I'm loading my computer so that I have all my slides ready to go for when my group comes. Um, and then just the initial, you know, then you, in between I'm planning and, and having the correspondence. And then when the day is done, then I have to make sure, okay, did I submit all the attendance? Did I, you know, um, and then we, we have a flexible program because we're preschool. Families who um, cannot attend the Zoom because they go to daycare or there's another circumstance, they're still able to participate and send me information in the evening. So then I'm also getting information from families who I don't see during the day. I'm getting that information in the evening and then I'm reviewing it and um, corresponding with those families um, as well. I, I, I could put it off until the next day, but I'd like to respond to families in a timely manner. And it just becomes a natural part of my day that, you know, it's just like a text message on Class Dojo. So it's just like responding back to a family member. And um, the way I look at it, they, they see that I care, they see that I'm involved and um, I don't mind it. So I, I do it. Um, but so definitely it seems to bleed into the evening and, and kind of like working from home is just like you never leave work. <laughs> I believe a good teacher, patience for sure, definitely working with this group of students, patience, um, persistence, um, wanting to be a lifelong learner because you're always learning new things and um, it drives you to be a, you know, a, better, a better you. I, I feel that each day is an opportunity to grow and um, every experience that you have it is a learning experience. And so just with that, um, just building on that and always, being the best that you can be that day, but knowing that you can always try, you know, you can always do something even better. To have that drive, if, if you did love what you do and and to be a teacher, I, I don't think you you would survive very long. You would be burnt out. You wouldn't um, be very successful at it. You, you really, um, it, it, there is a driving force underneath. For my students is that they still love school and that they love learning and that this hasn't in any way changed that perspective for them and that they grow and that they develop and they just have fun. I just want them to come and have fun and, and love being a part of it, no matter what it looks like, whether it be on the computer or in person, um, just enjoy what they're doing because at three, four and five, that's what you should be doing. It shouldn't seem like work, it should, it should be play. And I hope that that's how they see it.